Hello, my beautiful Geminis, and welcome to your reading. So we are going to be doing a month ahead predictions and seeing what your month ahead has in store for you. Now, this is a timeless reading. So at any point that you happen to come across this video, these messages hopefully will find you well. And yeah, we're just going to just dive right in. I went ahead and pre-shuffled your cards off camera. Sorry, I like kind of paused because I was wasn't sure if something was behind me. Um, <laughs> um, I went ahead and shuffled your cards off camera. We are going to be doing a live shuffle of some additional cards towards the end of the video. Um, so that way we can kind of save on time and we can just jump right on in. So to kind of get started with your guys's reading, um, I did select a specific crystal for each zodiac sign. Um, no real rhyme or reason. It was kind of just whatever I felt called to pull. Um, that is what I grabbed for you guys. So for you guys in particular, I chose Malachite. So as you can see, unfortunately, this one has a chip in it, but that's okay. It's still a very beautiful stone. You can even see all the really pretty shiny glitter in there. <laughs> it's probably not glitter, but you know what I mean? Um, honestly, this is probably one of my favorite stones. Um, this is a very healing stone. Um, it is meant to absorb any, um, negative energy to help you through a tough time, a healing time. Honestly, I just really like the fact that we had this kind of like divider here and it just kind of reminded me of Gemini energy. So I thought that was very fitting. So that is what I have for you guys here. We're just going to go ahead and put that guy off to the side and we're going to just jump right on in to your tarot cards. And then we're going to go through the rest of your Oracle cards in a moment. So to start you guys off, we have the three of cups followed by the five of cups. Okay. Next we have the emperor and ooh, the magician. All right. So for my Geminis, what do we have going on here? So <laughs> honestly, the reason why I'm laughing is just because like it's it's kind of funny how we honestly have a lot of really good cards. You guys have two major arcana cards here with the Emperor and the Magician. Um, so definitely some very powerful energy, definitely some powerful manifestation going on here. Um, but what's interesting is that we start off here with the Three of Cups, where it's very much a celebratory, um, like, you know, celebration type energy. Like this is very much kind of like coming together, like with your friends, your loved ones, definitely celebrating maybe a milestone or something that I think you guys have accomplished. Or there's like this, you know, desire or need to just kind of like come together. But what's interesting is that we have immediately following the five of cups. So this makes me think of like, did we party too hard? Did we go? <laughs> did we overspend? What did we do here? Because it's almost like on the one hand, here we are, we're really excited and we're, you know, celebrating. And then the next it's like, oh, should I have done that? Um, so that's why I was honestly kind of laughing because I'm like, it's just, it was so interesting just kind of seeing these two kind of come back to back uh, with that. So it me definitely makes me think of like looking at like the glass half empty rather than half full. And it's like, but why? Why are we doing this to ourselves? And I say we because I am a Gemini rising and Gemini moon. So I totally resonate. <laughs> because yeah, on the one hand, you know, we can definitely be like super, you know, excited about something, you know, we're really like motivated and driven. And then like the next day, it's like all energy has gone. And it's just, I don't know, I that's just me personally. I don't know if you guys can all, you know, resonate with that. But like, I, I saw that and I was like, damn, that's kind of how I feel sometimes. So <laughs> I get it. Um, But again, this is, you know, looking at the glass half empty. So we need to look at it as half full because as we can see, we still have two cups still up. They didn't fall down. Everything is going to be fine just because it didn't work out the way that we initially hoped it would doesn't mean it's not going to pan out because, you know, we did obviously celebrate a win uh, that we had or something, you know, did cause, you know, for a little bit of celebration or happiness. Um, but, you know, we can't get too hard on ourselves for something not panning out again the way that maybe we in initially thought it would. Um, um, so definitely keep that in mind, you know, with the month following, like if you find yourself in that situation, just recognize that maybe the reason why it didn't work out was because something better is happening for you at a better time. You know, it's just, 
that wasn't that time okay now it's interesting too as i mentioned with the two major arcana cards we have the emperor which is very much that you know authoritative powerful energy right this is like i own my shit like i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna do what i need to what i need to do this is definitely boss energy so you know, use this to kind of help propel you forward. Take this loss or whatever this, you know, situation may be where it just didn't pan out the way we thought it would. Use that and internalize it to motivate you to do something bigger and better. Okay. And I love that we have the magician card here following after because again, this is showing you have all of the tools, all of the capability to go after what it is that you want. And you can do it. You can manifest it. You can make it happen and that's what I'm seeing here with all of these cards kind of the way that they're you know in position it just kind of like again I always think of like a story it just kind of tells a story one minute we're happy the next we're sad but in real you know we turn this sadness into happiness because we can because we realize we are boss bitches or you know whatever and we're gonna make shit happen we're gonna do it and it's going to be fine. In fact, it's going to be better than what we initially anticipated. So just use that motive, you know, motivation to continue to drive you in that direction. Okay, Gemini, like don't feel too down and out. Um, just because something initially maybe didn't pan out the exact way that you were hoping it would. Okay, so let's take a look at the rest of your cards to get a little bit more clarity and information as to maybe what the situation actually is. So for your first astrology card, we have Pisces. Okay, followed by Mars, we have the Ascendant, and we have Cancer. Okay, so a lot of water energy, which that's funny too, because you did have two water, um, water, um, or I guess I was going to say two water cups, but it's <laughs> not what I meant. Damn, Mercury retrograde. Um, now you guys had two cups cards as well. So, and those deal with like our emotions, um, which is what our water signs are typically known for, right? They rule our emotions, um, our sensitivity and things of that nature. So the fact that we have both a Cancer and Pisces, you could be a Pisces or Cancer rising um, with the Ascendant card here because the Ascendant, that is our ascending sign, kind of like our truer selves. Um, so What's interesting with these, um, with both Pisces and Cancer, being that they are both, in fact, water signs, they both have that similarity of where they kind of tap into their intuitive side. So again, just because this situation didn't pan out the way that you wanted it to, again, I think this is telling you to just kind of tap into you, your energy, your authenticity, and who you are to motivate you to kind of get you out of this rut, if you will. Um, I love that we have both Cancer and Pisces because both of them, even though they are water signs, Pisces is a very intuitive, almost like psychic energy type card, right? It's like they have, you know, that sign is very much in the know like they're they are very in tune with themselves and so if you do have pisces in your chart or if you are a pisces rising this can definitely benefit you um, as you're trying to navigate your way out of this situation out of this five of cups situation um, because again you know what your capabilities are you know what it is that your worth is you know what you bring to the table okay and I think at this point, you almost have to kind of remind yourself of that and not be afraid to step into that. Because, and I, it's funny too, with the way that these cards are aligned. I mean, this wasn't really set up, meant to be set up this way, but I, I just noticed this. So you have the Ascendant above or underneath the Emperor and the Ascendant is very much like our true authentic selves, right? Like that is who we really are on the inside. It might not always be what we show everybody, but it's who we are inside and when you step into that and you own that you become the most like powerful version of yourself and so that makes me think of that emperor energy which again is a very powerful like energy so it's like once you kind of make that connection and realize you know what no I can do this I I know what I'm capable of capable of I know what I bring to the table once you kind of step into that you know mindset it almost feels like you can do anything 
right? And I think that's kind of where you're going to get, um, you know, this next month is just you at some point having that aha moment or that, you know, epiphany moment of being like, okay, I got this, I can do this. And now I'm going to make it into re a reality. I'm actually going to make it happen. Okay. So don't be afraid of, you know, the, the situation or, you know, how this vision that you had that didn't uh, initially work out the way that you thought it would, it's okay. Okay, so I, I think that's going to be the biggest thing is to not fret about the little things um, just because it didn't pan out the exact way that you wanted it to. Okay, now we also have Mars energy. So Mars is a very much, you know, fiery uh, <laughs> type energy. And it's also the emperor's ruling uh, planet as well. So it's very much Aries energy, fiery energy. So we've got a little bit of a fire sign, water sign mixed in here. Uh, we've got a little bit of everything. And Gemini's, you know, we are air signs. So you know, we've got a little bit of it all, right? And sometimes that's good to have because it's like when our emotions are checked by our drive and our passion, it's like when you have both of those hand in hand, you're able to make things happen. And that's, I think, why the magician is here with this emperor because it's telling you like you have everything that you need to make happen. You've got things in check. You only just need to believe that you are capable and that you can do it. Okay. So don't be afraid. I, I feel like this is like the biggest thing is like, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's okay. Like it's going to happen. You're going to do it. You're going to be fine. You know, it's almost like, you know, think of just like that mentor or father figure or somebody who's telling you like, you got this, you got this, you're going to be okay. I feel like that's like the biggest thing that maybe we need to tell ourselves if we don't have that person in our lives kind of rooting for us in, the, in our corner, we almost need to be our own, you know, cheerleader or coach and just telling us that like, we got this, we can do this. Okay. So don't be afraid of that. All right. Um, all right. Let's take a look at your other cards here just to, again, get more info. Cause I just feel like it's telling you, you have everything to make it happen, but it's like, what are we making happen? All right. So we have your, for your first card contemplation time. So spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire. Okay. So again, this might be definitely time to do after that five of cups moment, or if you feel like you're in that moment, um, giving yourself that pause to really reflect and see what it is that you really want. And once you actually start to envision it, it becomes easier on like, okay, these are the steps I'm going to need to take in order to get there. The next card that we have is wait. Don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. Okay. So, all right. This would explain why you had this five of cups moment. Okay. If that's the situation, if there's a reason why this didn't work out, it's because it's telling you that wasn't it. You need to wait. They're telling you to pause and not jump the gun here. Okay. They're telling you to take a break, take a breather, you know, use this time as a blessing you know, to really just think things through and not rush anything. Again, you have everything that you need to make it happen, but you can't force it to happen. Okay. So try that out. And then we have empowerment. You're more powerful than you realize. Yes, you are. It's safe for you to be powerful. Big energy here. Very <laughs> BDE energy, guys. No, I'm kidding. I'm just saying like, you guys definitely have, like I said, what it takes. And the fact that we're getting so much emphasis or reemphasis on how powerful you really are, I think is what you need to hear. I think sometimes we get so down and out on ourselves. Um, when something doesn't pan out, we automatically think we failed or it just, you know, how could we let this happen? And we can't beat ourselves up over it, or we can't be too harsh on ourselves. This is telling you, you know, you have all of this power. You are more powerful than you realize. And just because one thing just didn't pan out that way, I know I keep sounding like a broken record, but just because it didn't pan out that way doesn't mean that your goal isn't going to be reached. It just means you're going to go in maybe a different direction to get there. Okay. So your next cards that we have, we have Glamour. Into this mirror, I see the realms of possibility. 
Okay, so yeah, definitely just kind of taking a pause and realizing what the other options are. So just kind of looking a little bit more inward again into yourself. So I know this is very much like glamour, you know, um, but I look at it because it's more of you looking at yourself and seeing how, again, how powerful, how glamorous, how amazing you truly are. Okay. And then we have courage. By shining brave and true and bright, my courage now returns this night. Okay, so yeah, definitely trust in again how courageous you are in your full kit, your full potential and your capabilities. Um, because like I said, you guys are very, very powerful. Um, and it's being used for something. You know, you are trying to use your power for good for something. So what is it that that is? Um, oh, we have meditate, so Another card about con contemplating, make some quiet time in the still air. So give yourself that moment to just pause, take a break. Okay. Think it out. Don't rush it. Okay. I know you guys want to get things done, but we just maybe need to really think about it first before we do it. Okay. Let's see. We have the ocean. Be beautiful, mysterious, wild, and free, okay? Don't be afraid to be yourself. Be authentic. Be unapologetically yourself. That is the biggest thing here. I feel like that is what's going to help you tap into your true potential, your true authenticity. I keep thinking this emperor card. This emperor card honestly keeps standing out to me the most out of everything. And that's because I feel like this is you stepping into that power, okay? So that's really what's going to be happening for you guys this month. Ooh, all right, that one just, here we go. Direction, trust your inner compass and find your bearings. Okay, so again, yeah, just really trust in yourself, your intuition. And again, that will kind of just lead you into where it is you're supposed to end up, where you're supposed to be, because you're going to get there. You just got to be a little patient, okay, and trust in your full potential. So Gemini's, that is all that I'm seeing for you guys. I hope this was helpful. Definitely let me know down below if this resonated with you. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and consider giving this a thumbs up as it truly helps out my channel. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.